Welcome to another episode of Terry's Notes and today we are going to be looking at simple linear equations. Okay, the first equation we have here, we have solve for x in the following equation. x minus 5 is equal to 4. Now, when we are asked to solve for x, essentially what we are doing, we are finding a value of x x equal to something that we need to find when we substitute it in this, into this equation it will satisfy the equation okay so we have x minus 5 is equal to 4 so if we have to get rid of this minus 5 we need to add 5 to both sides of the equation all right so therefore we say x is equal to 4 plus 5 and therefore x is equal to 9 Right? Some teachers might tell you we have minus 5 here. Let's move the minus 5 on this side and it becomes plus 5. Right? So, therefore, if we, um, because x is equal to 9, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. So, therefore, x equal 9 satisfies this equation. Let's say we have x plus 2 is equal to 10. What we need to do is to subtract 2 from each side of the equation. So therefore we end up with x is equal to 10 minus 2. Therefore x is equal to 8. All right? Again, plus 2. If we move it to the side, it becomes minus 2. Now what if we have 2x is equal to 10? What this is saying is 2 multiplied by x is equal to 10. So if we want to get rid of this 2, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. And that will become x is equal to 10 divided by 2, and therefore x is equal to 5. Right? Let's say we have x over 2 is equal to 4. How do we treat with this? Now, in order to get rid of this 2, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Okay? So, x is equal to 4 multiplied by 2. Therefore, x is equal to 8. Right? Now, another way we can look at this is by saying x over 2 is equal to 4 over 1 because 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4 and we simply cross multiply so x multiplied by 1 will give us x and 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8 All right? now we have a slightly different one we have 10 over x is equal to 5 now that same method I just showed you I'm going to use that here so 10 over x it's the same as saying 5 over 1. And we're going to cross multiply. So 5 multiplied by x will give me 5x. And 10 multiplied by 1 will give me 10. If I want to get, get rid of this 5 here, I need to divide both sides by 5. So this will become 10 <coughs> over 5, which is equal to 2. Now, in this one we want to solve for x again. We have 3x minus 5 equals 4. First thing we need to do is to get rid of this 5. So we will end up with 3x equal. To get rid of this 5, we need to add 5 to both sides of the equation. So this will be 4 plus 5. So therefore, 3x is equal to 9. And now we need to divide both sides by 3. So 9 over 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Let's say we have an equation like this now. Now, some students tend to get confused with this. Whenever we have fractions, what we should do is... This is 8x over 3 minus 7 equal to 1. Now, what you can do is to move... Get rid of the 7 first. So, 8 x over 3 
is equal to 1 plus 7 right because in order to get rid of this minus 7 we must add 7 to both sides of the equation therefore 8x over 3 is equal to 8 in order to get rid of this 3 here we multiply both sides by 3 so therefore 8x is equal to 8 3 is 24 and therefore x we need to divide by 8 now will be equal to 24 over 8 and therefore x is 24 I'm sorry x is 3 okay and this one here we have two fractions again 5x over 6 is equal to 3 over 4 so the easiest thing to do is to cross multiply so 5x multiplied by 4 gives me 20x and 6 multiplied by 3 gives me 18 in order to get rid of the x we divide both sides by 20 so therefore x is equal to 18 over 20 therefore x is equal to you can divide top and bottom by 2 so this will be 9 over 10 now we have uh, an equation here and we have x's on the left side and the right side so what do we do what you need to do is to put all the x's on one side and put all the numbers on the right side so I'm gonna move this 3x to the left side so x minus 3x is equal to 7 plus 3 okay because this 3x is coming to this side so therefore the sign will change that's one way of looking at it on the minus 3 we're gonna put it on this side and it becomes plus 3 so x minus 3x gives me minus 2x and 7 plus 3 gives me 10 in order to get rid of this minus 2 I need to divide both sides of the equation by minus 2 so 10 over minus 2 therefore x is equal to minus 5 let's look at this one here so 7 mi 7 x minus open brackets 2 minus x first thing we should do is remove this brackets so 7 x now this is the same as saying that you have a minus 1 in front of this huh? so if we have to remove the brackets we're gonna do this so minus 1 multiplied by 2 will give me minus 2 and minus 1 multiplied by minus x will give me plus x equal to 0 so 7x plus x gives me 8x minus 2 is equal to 0 in order to get rid of the minus 2 I need to add 2 to both sides of the equation so we end up with 8x is equal to 2 and therefore x is equal to 2 over 8 which is equal to 1 quarter okay all right now all these are examination style questions so we have X's on the left side and X's on the right hand side first thing we need to do is to remove those brackets so 15 minus 4 X is equal to we're gonna take 2 and multiply by 3 X and then 2 multiply by plus 1 so 2 multiplied by 3x gives me 6x and 2 multiplied by plus 1 gives me plus 2 now I can put all the x's on the left side or the right side it doesn't matter so minus 4x minus 6x is equal to 2 minus 15 Right, minus 4x minus 6x will give me minus 10x 
and 2 minus 15 gives me minus 13 and therefore x is equal to minus 13 over minus 10 which is 13 over 10. Okay, let's look at this one now. First thing we should do is remove the brackets. So we have 6x minus, okay, minus 8 multiplied by x will give me minus 8x. And then minus 8 multiplied by plus 3 gives me minus 24 equal to 10. So 6x minus 8x will give me minus 2x minus 24 is equal to 10. In order to get rid of this minus 24, I need to add 24 to both sides. So we have minus 2x is equal to 10 plus 24. Therefore minus 2x is equal to 34. And therefore, x becomes 34 over minus 2. For x is equal to minus 17. Okay. On our last example, we have brackets and we have a fraction. So the first thing to do is to remove these brackets. So 2 multiplied by x will give me 2x minus 2 is equal to 5 over 2. Now, this is where students get a little trouble when they have a fraction like this. The easiest thing to do here is to multiply every single term by 2. Right? To get rid of this 2 that is here. So if you multiply every term by 2, we end up with 4x minus 4 is equal to 5, right? Because 5 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 1 will give me 5. So 4x is equal to 5 plus 4 because we need to get rid of this minus 4 here. So 4x is equal to 9 and therefore x is equal to 9 over 4. Okay. So as you can see, solving simple linear equations are actually pretty simple. You just need to remember that when we have brackets, we need to remove the brackets. Um, if we have fractions, we can sometimes cross multiply. And if we have, um, what was the other type? What, you just need to remember whatever you do on one side of the equation, you need to do it on the other side of the equation.